It's the beginning of April. We're in Scotland. We're riding from Edinburgh Castle all the way up to Loch Ness. It's going to be absolutely epic. Chris, here we are outside. Yo! This is the entrance to Edinburgh Castle. Hello. And as you can see behind me, all these traditional Scottish people all just lining up. Oh, yeah. You're right. Like, just because it's a military base. Oh, right. One sec. One sec. Sorry. For security reasons, you'll need to keep them with you. You can't chain them up anywhere either. Okay. okay. No worries. It's just really hard to film and have a bike with you. Yeah. What's your name? It's Luke. The beer okay. <laughs> <laughs> you need permission to come and film here, but everyone else with their phones doesn't, just us because we had a camera. This is what I like about it, it's logical. This is the start point, the beginning of our cycle tour adventure, and it's going to take us all the way through Scotland to Loch Ness. Route 75 heading out of Edinburgh city centre. Just catching up with Chris. Have we head to Glasgow now, but we probably won't make it tonight because it's uh, going to get dark in a few minutes, well, a few hours. Challenge for the rest of the day is to find food and shelter. Even if it's not in glorious sunshine, Edinburgh is a beautiful city. It really is. It's my, it's my favourite city in the UK. But don't tell Glasgow that because we're headed there now. Lovely weather again. Just raining on and off. Hey Chris. Hi Luke. Still on Route 75. Head towards Livingston now, which is the next town that we should hit. Pretty chilly. Still lots to do today. Ding ding. Big downhill Chris, you come in. Aye, uh, we do great pies. And this is like an army, oh, ex-army village because it's like the American base is just up, up the ah, roads, yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. Snackage. Lovely pie. Mm-hmm. Mm. So hungry. Just here? As good a campsite as you'll get, but... We decided not to camp here. I actually realised that the clocks went forward, so we've actually got longer than we thought. We're going to head off and go a bit further on. We've got a lot of miles to do. Let's keep going. Stonehenge there. I think we're going to go somewhere here. It's 
perfect it's amazing what you find if you keep going i prefer to go up up there yeah Here's the tent, got it all set up in there and it closes up because it's raining again. It's freezing. To be honest, I would actually skip this meal and just go to bed, but Chris has gone to the effort of making it. I should probably eat it. So Chris, how's the pasta special going? Yeah, it's almost done. I've actually already made a batch here, look. All you cooked. Yoink! <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Tent Talks! He's back! And good night. He's back. Tent Talks is back. It's raining outside, but it's not dampening our enthusiasm for the trip. Great day today. We've been riding along Route 75, which goes all the way to Glasgow. Uh, we haven't quite made it to Glasgow yet because, well, we haven't made it yet. We're in the middle of a field. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it's forecast to be rain and snow for the next 10 days. We're gonna yeah! Get... Oh my goodness. I've not trained very hard for this cycle tour, which is probably going to come as a shock. It's normal. <laughs> well, it's nasty. Freezing. I think we've got more layers. We've got, we've got two sleeping bags each. Two sleeping bags. And a baby bag. <laughs> it's just good to be back out on the road. Just before we came away, we both found out that we've reached 1,000 subscribers. Three. Thanks to everyone who subscribed. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, don't worry. No biggie. Well, this is Beard Brothers Day 1 signing off. Good night. Good morning. We're in the tent. It's still raining. It's so hard to get motivated. And all you can hear is the rain outside. It's raining, it's freezing, but we're on tour. Woo! We're just leaving camp. Very wet and cold night. <laughs> Morning. Morning. Now we're heading back down the 75, and the aim is to get to Glasgow. Chris into the warm, super special parking space. Did you know that in every country in the world, Coca-Cola is the number one selling soft drink? Really? Apart from one country. Which country is that? I don't know. Can't work it out. Iron Brew. <laughs> so in Scotland, Iron Brew is the number one selling soft drink. It's the only country in the world where it's not Coca-Cola. Wow. Sold. Sold. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's go find gloves. Now I'll give the flip-flops a miss, I think. Gloves. Oh, no, because oh, no, eh, it's like we're into like, the spring season. Mm. Got rid side. of it. I know that's what I'm saying, <laughs> that they've got rid of them all. They've got rid of all of them? Yeah. Like oh, this is the like. worst news ever. <laughs> all my gloves are wet. Tesco kindly have given me a pair of store gloves, so I've got some gloves. Yeah. Nice. Best news ever for free gloves. So the warmest place in the shop was by the door. Sneakily, dry my gloves. Free gloves. Yes, let's go. Welcome to Scotland. Still on Route 75. <laughs> now we've just done the Monkland Canal and then we're going to head down to here to Uddingston. Now we were going to go to this lake because that's where Chris qualified for the European Championship. However, I'm not a triathlete. 
we won't have time to go down there today which is a shame so we're gonna have to carry on all the way to Glasgow made it to Glasgow the famous Wellington statue where he's always got a traffic cone on his head Hello. <laughs> I think it's gonna snow, isn't it? Yeah, uh, apparently, but it's, it's pushed back every day though. So if you have a look, it's like another four days or so. so. Okay. Should be okay. That's what we like. Yeah. 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 So earlier we were cycling down the footpath Route 75 towards Glasgow. The guy we met coming down Route 75, he's an artist, bro, and he said, Oh, come on, let's why don't you guys come and stay at mine tonight? Uh, it's a big art place, it's not full of art stuff, so you know, we thought, well, let's give it a try. Yeah, it's gonna go and find Jim at his art place, so. Yeah, wherever that is. <laughs> we, we make like YouTube videos online. Tell us, we'll look at you. It's uh, <laughs> yeah. Beard Brothers UK. <laughs> Beard Brothers, <laughs> yeah. Get the TV in. Chris? We might be staying with an artist tonight in Glasgow or something. Oh, good luck. So we're looking for this artist called Jim who said that we can come and stay at his house. He lives near somewhere called Paradise and we just can't find it. We're going around in circles. Let's go and have a look. Yeah. There's down here. This is what Paradise. We found Paradise. <laughs> yeah, I found right. Paradise, yeah. Trying to meet an artist actually, you might be able to help. He said he's got a studio near Paradise, he says you can't miss it. Good, if you follow it along. Um, I think it goes along the front of those flats there. It's basically either that way or that way at those flats. Yeah. And it's a guy that's been on a kind of long term campaign for justice thing. Right, if you don't, if you end up stuck, right, give me a shout. Oh, thank you very much. Really appreciate it. No worries. That. Good luck with your journey as well. Yeah. So, not a good time to be on the road, I suppose. Um, good time of year. Chris, looks like we found Jim's house. Jim's house, yeah? Yeah. Now, you can go because he's got a dog. I'm trying to get into Jim's house. But there's, there's a lock on it, <laughs> so um, and our batteries run out on our phone. Oh, no. I've done hey, a drone you used to. I've, huh? done a, I've done a wee drone you used to. You did a drone? On your bikes. Oh, great. <laughs> I've done this in 10 minutes for you lads. This is you Chris on your bike, and Joshua here. Hey, it's Luke. It's Luke. Yeah. Luke, sir, it's <laughs> sorry, right. And that's me, pedaling away by you. Yeah. This is a protest that I've got, Chris. The police raided my house in 2002, looking for Princess Diana's mum's jewels. And what happened was, my stall at the antique market, where I used to sell my paintings, my props get broken into. And I lost my jewellery. But see, at the same time as I lost my jewellery, Princess Diana's mum, Shan Kid, she lost her jewels at the same time as mine. But there was 29 cops came here, and they, they, they smashed the mirror and brought all my ceilings down, and they're still doing as you'll see when you, when you get inside, like, you know? But I've had that much a cover up after the Scottish Government, I started painting on the wall here uh, to let the people know the, the corruption that's involved here with the police. Banksy, you've heard the Banksy? Yeah, I've heard of Banksy, yeah. yeah. Well, that, I, I was doing a lot of this Banksy stuff years ago before he even, before he ever, he ever appeared, you know. That's that's actually a Banksy, a, a real Banksy that I copied. Turn around your camera, man. By the way, James Powell's. Uh, you just can put the bikes in the garage. Okay. Yeah. Okay, and that, they'll be safe. Okay. This is the front page of right, uh, the, the Evening Times. Uh, don't forget, I've never took any money for any of these write ups on these pictures, you know. And this is me at my stall here, and this is me with the Crown Jewels on. <laughs> this is Jack Nicholson. Uh, that's Bo Selector. That's uh, oh, That's Bo <laughs> Selector. <laughs> Come on. It's very, very abstract, that one, you know. That's the craze. I met Ronnie Cray in London years ago. I never met the other one. 
Let's see, let's do anything there. <laughs> this one here, this went for six million pound on the internet. I done it in an hour and a half. So that's a copy. A so copy you, and you've called yours not six million. No. I've only got 35 quid. I've only got 35 quid. No, no, it's easy price here. Who's coach that? Debbie and Harry, Blondie. One way or another, I'm gonna find you. I'm gonna get you, get you, get you, get you. Blondie. Blondie. Singer Blondie. Yeah, yeah. I think you usually be able to crash in this room tonight, you know. So now we're at this art house and we're surrounded oh. by all sorts of stuff. Got a guy here, got a mask. Jim, thanks so much, and... Thanks, Jim. Yeah, good night. Good night. Good night. You're gonna have to get the light now. Oh. I've said good night. Uh, do you wanna plug the camera into charge as well? Yeah, uh, cheers, yeah. thanks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we just wanna... Yeah, so want a, want a cup of tea. Oh, um, yeah, is that all right, Jim? Morning, by the way. Wait, I've only got honey, I've got sugar. You want honey? Oh yeah, that'd be great, great yeah. Fantastic, I love honey. I was the night. Have it all, have a good night. <coughs> yeah. Is a house on love? We'll say the crown to Zah And never to those crown To have a set up by the law Don't listen all you people Let's try and join it! I've done We've just left Jim's and we're heading back into the centre of Glasgow just to get some bits and bobs done, get some things. See today, let's go and do it. We need to go onto Route 7, get out of Glasgow and head towards Paisley. Go on girls, well done. Well done. <laughs> what, what are they doing? Uh, they're doing their fitness test for the Miss Scotland final. Oh, Miss Scotland final? Mm. Yeah. Is that like a beauty contest? Yeah. 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 Oh, are you guys entering? Oh, hell no. <laughs> are you kidding? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> we are so, brothers. Yeah. Uh, okay, go. Cool. Are brothers. you brothers? UK. Do, you know, do, we, do, do we look like brothers? No. No, we're not. No, we're not. Oh, that's just our YouTube name. And now we're at Paisley, which lends its name to the iconic Paisley pattern, which was really popular in the 60s and the 70s. This mill here is where the Paisley pattern was made. Happy Easter! Route 7 carries on this way, but we need Route 75, which goes this way. What is that? It's been a beautiful day today. Sun is setting, and we met these two guys back in the town. They said there's a, an abandoned campsite just up here on the left. So hopefully we can make it to put the tent up in the daytime. We need to get there before that sun sets. Please. 
tell me you found the campsite. <laughs> well, no. Is it half, roughly miles, two miles, one mile? About a mile and a half. Okay. Scottish <laughs> people are the best. Yeah. I think we found it. The sign to the campsite. Now let's hope it's abandoned. It's all closed. It's completely abandoned. Can't find anyone here, which is great. It's like little hobbit huts. Now locked. We set the tent up. It got dark right at the end. So we're gonna make ourselves some hot chocolate. Little teaser, yes. We don't know what's going on here. I think we're being circled by a helicopter. You must be able to hear it. Here it comes again. Should we look outside? <laughs> this, is, <laughs> this is not. A, this is not the usual for a tent talk. Well, there's a helicopter. So the helicopter's gone. The temperature just suddenly dropped about an hour ago. So it's a little bit chilly. Yeah, about that. Earlier. Yep. When we were in Glasgow, a couple were chatting to me and they said, have you heard about the yellow weather warning for snow? Snow? Yeah. When? <laughs> tonight. Tonight? Yeah. could oh. be snow tonight. I didn't tell you because I wanted to keep you, I wanted to keep your spirits up. Well, that would explain the temperature drop. <laughs> yeah. So tired now, I just fallen asleep. Good night, YouTube. Subscribe. Morning, Luke. Morning. Ooh. Instant strawberry porridge. Chris is going to go down to the stream and have a wash. Got my feet. This is how you wash in a stream. Ah, good morning. Ah. So we've just left the camp. And now we're headed down this massive hill. It's so cold. This is what happens when you tour Scotland. It's cold, but the roads are amazing. Oh. Head to the ferry now, prop to Dunoon. There's a ferry, oh, we've just missed it.
Let's go inside and warm up before we get there. Sandwiches are beautiful, sandwiches are fine. I like sandwiches, I eat them all the time. This is where we're going to be leaving in a minute. Welcome to Dunoon. Left the noon, and now we're in the Scottish mountains looking for a place to camp tonight. In the middle of nowhere, hopefully, we can find a place for shelter and wood so we can make a fire to keep ourselves warm. Scotland, you may be wet, you may be cold, but you give us fantastic views. found a place to camp up here off the trail. This is technically a like a forestry track but you are allowed to walk in Scotland. I think I think we found a perfect spot to camp here just where my bike is. Got any wood, Chris? It's all those of blown down trees in the wind. Just hope they don't blow on our tent tonight. There you go. Got the fire going. Chris is just build it up a bit it's gonna sit by it it's snowing and behind me we've got a beautiful view of the lake Ooh. very nice like five-star restaurant first episode of fire talk yeah, we, we were going to do it in a tent, but, you know, it might have burned down. Yeah. So. so we woke up this morning at the haunted campsite. I turned my phone on, at Beard Brothers UK on Instagram. We'd had a reply from a girl called Andy, who's in California. So she'd been chatting to us about cycle touring, and we've been telling her to get in touch with a guy called Darren Alf, who is the cycle touring pro. Is that, that's the guy on the YouTube channel? Yeah, he's got a YouTube channel. He's got some really good videos. We had a video on Instagram from Andy saying she just met the bicycle touring pro and Darren Alf was waving at us in the morning. Yep. And it was just it was like a really encouraging thing to start the day with. Yeah. So thanks Andy and thanks Darren. Check his YouTube channel out, Cycling Touring Pro. Yeah. Very good. Tomorrow we're gonna head head into the wilderness, into the abyss. Yeah. But no, we don't actually know when we're gonna see our next shop. So we haven't actually got much food of us. We've got a bit of chocolate, a, bit, a few marshmallows. Hopefully we'll find some civilization. I think that's us. We're just going to let this fire die out. Go to bed, I think. Yeah, we're going to go to bed, so. Good night, YouTube. Good night. Good night. What a beautiful setting. Yo. Morning, Chris. Hello. <laughs> Is it still snowing? Yeah. <laughs> Good night's sleep. Yeah, warm, yeah. Good night. Alright, we're leaving camp. Gonna get back on the road. Let's go. I've got the back.
Hey Luke. You alright? Oh, can't feel my fingers. Nice view though. Yeah. We just stopped here just to have a quick snack. That was so hard. Wow. Wow. That was tough. It was about a two mile uphill that. We do get fantastic views. Going left. Here comes Chris. Another steep climb, but we're headed to Porto Vedi to get the ferry. I've only got one break. Route 78. This is where the route changes from 75 to 78. Behind me, these are salmon farms. So when you're buying the Scottish salmon in the supermarket, it's probably come from one of these. It's not as wild as you think, it's in a cage. Time of day, light is fading. Looking for a place to camp. Hopefully, there'll be one place to camp down here. Well, just over here. And that is how you stealth camp. Tent talk. Yeah. So before we start, just a quick shout out to my friend Toby for lending us some equipment. It's like a light bulb, but for a tent. So thanks for that. Yeah, so we had a good day today. We started off in the snow and it was just epic. Um, but we did have a funny situation just before we got on the ferry and we were rushing towards the ferry. He Luke couldn't break, I didn't know this at the time. I was going down the hill, camera in one hand, brake on the other hand. I'm going downhill and I can't brake in time to stop before the ferry. And the lady's saying, you've got to stop. I'm like, I'm trying, I'm trying. And she's like, no, you're not. I'm like, yes, I am. I think we've actually got it on film somewhere. Oh. I can't break, I'm trying to break. I'm trying to, I'm trying. No, no, listen. Wait, didn't stop. Wait, no, we all said these breaks, honestly. Well, go that side, go into the water. She was actually quite a nice lady, but she, but you know, she was just doing her job. In her head, she had a line. If you cross this line on your bike, it's dangerous. Even though, ironically, where she was standing was more dangerous. All that climbing has made me so tired. I can't wait just to get my head down tonight. Uh, thanks for listening to another episode of... Ten Top. <laughs>
<laughs> you I, I can't do it on demand. It's ridiculous. I'm going to bed. Good night. Morning, Luke. Good morning. How's the weather? Okay, Google. What's the weather for today? Today's forecast for Tabers is five degrees with rain and snow. Yeah! <laughs> Tent day. What are you making, Chris? Hot cross bun. Oh, Easter. Yoink. Snowing outside. Um, yeah. <laughs> we'd just rather eat in here. Uh-oh. <laughs> Oh, some soaring. This is the latest we've ever set off on one of our tours. It stopped raining and the sun's come out. Let's get going. Just going down this road. We needed some more water, so Chris has just popped in to get some water. Topped up. Success. Yeah, nice guy too. He said he thinks there's a pub a few miles that way, but apart from that, we're on our own. <laughs> you'll see the you see where oh, don't film me <laughs> you'll see where I mean yeah there's a cave up there a cave yes and uh, it has been known to have an occupant once upon a time so you have to be careful but Ooh, that's when rock. you say an occupant well that's a secret isn't it I would be, yeah so this rock this this clearing this clearing is called the witch's rock so in the old days the horses and carts refused to go up that hill because the witches used to live at the top Okay. So when you get to the top, there's a ledge with some little rocks on it and then and you have to make a wish and if you can throw a rock onto the ledge, then your wish will come true. Yeah. So the lady told us that if we throw a rock onto this ridge and it stays on there and we make a wish, it will come true. So here goes nothing. That's good. It means by the time we get home, Chris, we should have a million subscribers. Wow! Wow! Shower. That was nice and refreshing. There's a cave down there. Nice. Yeah. nice. It's quite a boggy wet cave. Right. But it's still a cave. You can't camp in it. I wouldn't, it's too wet. You okay. might be able to camp in you know, Bibi, uh, we've got a tent or something. Yeah, we've got all that, yeah. Yeah, you can camp down there. I feel so much better now. And we're just heading down. We've been told there's a cave down here and we're wondering if we can camp in it. <sighs> Now well, this is exciting. Wait there, I'll handle this. Yeah, this is officially a cave. Yeah, it's a cave. Get out. We 
just set up camp. We've just got here in time. The sun is literally setting behind us. Now we're going to make some food. Chris, what's, on, what's on the menu tonight? Pasta. Yeah. Pasta. <laughs> and. Pasta. Five star food and five star view. Oh, perfect. Perfect. We just got up from the tent where we've camped with this fantastic view. Finish the washing up. Caravans, tours, tents, shops. You three vs two, yeah? You three vs two. Okay. Right. As if resuming the oldest rivalry in international football was not enough. Griffiths takes and scores his first goal for Scotland. And England can attack again. And Harry Kane pulling away! Oh. England have equalised! Scotland running out of time here. Has a go. Having got the goal, goes again! Scottish breakfast. Since, since leaving the campsite, it's just been a constant uphill. So Chris is probably at the top of the mountain by now, he's a lot faster than me. So there's a lock at the top of the mountain, doesn't it? Oh no, snow. That only means one thing. Was going that way, had no one on it, and he just passes again going this way, again, no one on it. So he just the bus driver just going, ah, oh, just go for a drive. That bus driver's got the best job in the world, he just drives this beautiful route with nobody on his bus. Cycling to save the environment, and it is a bus driver just going up and down just because with no one on it. Yeah, yeah stop it. <laughs> Bus. Let's drive buses around. That's the fourth bus I've seen that's empty. We need to find a place to camp for the night so the race is on. Hello. Thank you. Canastri Castle is just over there.
deserted ruined castle. We're not sure if we should be here. There are no signs that says no camping. We checked. <coughs> the castle is like right there, right there. And in the morning we'll show you. It was like practically dark when we got here. And we, we went in the castle and we started going up the tower to the top. It was like so dark we couldn't see anything and it was a pretty, pretty actually a little bit spooky. It's weird. It was definitely haunted. <laughs> there were like dungeons. I've not heard an owl hoot the whole time on this whole trip. And as soon as we walked in that castle, I heard about six owls go. It was so spooky last night, there were like these shrieking noises coming in going <coughs> And we were like, what, what, what was that noise? We were like, whoa! <laughs> and then it's just been raining, the wind nearly blew the tent away It's been pretty wild, so now we're going to go and have a look around this haunted castle Castle Hello? Come on in. Access to the tower this way. Switch to night vision. Is that a dungeon? <gasps> this is the staircase to the tower. This would, this would probably be my bedroom. Where the castle guard would have noticed that we were camping outside the. You're going, oh, what a nice tent. There we go. Oh. What's that? No way. Is that a sword? Sorry, Chris. Hey, no worries. So we've left the castle campsite today. We've reached this kind of undulating road where it goes up and down, up and down on the top. The thing that we dread the most now is a downhill. And you'd think, oh yeah, downhills, you can't wait for them. But no, no, because a downhill means that it's going to be followed by an uphill. Because we've just done some absolute massive uphills. <laughs> First cycle tourist yeah. in Scotland. How yeah. many days have you guys been going? <laughs> we've been going since. What how days, many days are we on now? Um, about a week we've been going. Right, we're cycling through the night, trying to find a castle stalker. We were going to camp earlier, but 
workers decided he wanted to push for Castle Stalker. We're not sure where it is and that's the problem with it being dark. <laughs> we can't actually see where we're going. Absolutely knackered. Castle Stalker. Why is it called Castle Stalker? I guess because it just like follows you around the lake because it's in the middle. It's like stalking you all the time. Yeah, it's always there. So today's been all about getting from one castle to another. And so we thought we'd hit hit the miles today, but the problem was is because the hills are so steep, we actually didn't get that many done. We only done about what about 55 miles today. Even when it was a downhill, we couldn't actually go that fast because there were so many potholes in the road. And our brakes don't work. Yeah, and oh my goodness. <laughs> and our brakes don't work. Do you know how scary it is to go down a 20% hill and you don't know if the car's coming around the corner and you can't brake? It's actually quite scary. Good night. Good night, YouTube. Good morning. This is what we've woken up to. Fantastic view across the lock. Let's go see if Chris is awake yet. Morning. Ah, uh, good morning. Good night last night. Yeah, late one. We got here late, didn't we? Another hard day today. We've got to push some miles. Does that mean I've got to get up? Yeah, get up. Oh, oh. Oh. Good morning! Right, we're just leaving camp. We're gonna get on the road now. Shame to leave the castle behind. Epic hill on Route 78. We should be hitting a bridge. We're going to cross over this water that you can see here, and then we are headed to another place where we're going to get a ferry across. Just made it, Luke! Like, just made it. <laughs> like 30 seconds to go. I just went to pay and he went, oh no, bicycles and foot passengers are free. I understand why now, because uh, he's just the shortest ferry journey ever. I think now we're going to be cycling along here, this coast, and we should be seeing Ben Nevis on our right hand side. So there we go, across the water, view of Ben Nevis now, with Fort William, well we think that's Fort William there, it must be, and then Ben Nevis in the, in the background, still, still hidden by clouds. Chris, here it is. Are we here? Yeah, this is the, this is the ferry terminal. <laughs> Hello? Hello. Hello. You sure this is it? Yeah. It says, it says, please wait here until instructed to board by the skipper. What skipper? Oh man. What? We got like two hours. Two hours. We got so long to wait for the ferry. We thought, well, why not have a skimming competition? 
Yeah. Some stones. Well, the thing is, it's insurance as well, you know, they'll cover the bikes, but they'll not cover the baggage on them. On the ferry? For insurance reasons, I'm not allowed to drive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry? Drive a flight. Oh, Captain. I won't, I won't actually touch this wheel too. <laughs> Where are we going to? Uh, the district, I just keep in the long for the main room. The building with the rep, but there's a boat oh, in the way. I think I left my orange hat on the ferry. So we might just need to go into a shop and get a new one. Oh. Oh, what's this? That looks good. Yeah, it looks good. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, that's a great hat. Should we go in and get that? Yes, yeah, get that one. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. I could do with one too, to be honest. Yeah, we'll all get one. Okay. Oh hi, um, we're looking for a really good hat. Yeah, no um, worries. We've uh, got a lovely one in the mannequin in the window just now. Yeah, yeah we saw that one on the way in actually. Yeah, um, do you, do you think? want to have a look at it? Yeah, can I? Yeah, yeah, no yeah cheers. Here we are. Ooh, wow. Oh, thank you. No worries, give it a try. Fit. Perfect. Yeah? Good hat. Yeah. Oh, well, thank you. Do you want to try yeah. one on Luke? Luke, you try on. Yeah, yeah, go on then. Do you, you think you've got two? Yep. Do you think... You've got some caps? You've got caps? Ooh. Oh, wow. Shall I try that try one? Try that one on Luke. Yeah. Go, Let's see... Uh, okay. Oh, thank you. Oh my, Luke, that looks amazing. All right, yeah, we get one each. Yeah. No Cheers. We'll ring it up. Let's... There we are. Ready when you are, buddy. Yeah, contactless. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, we don't need a bag. We're going to no. wear them. Perfect. So, there fantastic. There we are. Bubble hat, caps. Nice. Nice one. Cool. Nice, let's go. New hat. So we've just left Fort William where we bought these Beer Brothers hats from Cotswold. Thanks Cotswold. Great hats, great quality. So now we're gonna go and look for the place where they filmed Braveheart. The, the film is in 200 meters time. It's apparently the film happens in 200 meters. Trouble with Scotland is that it's full of Scots. That they may take our lives, but they'll never take our freedom! The prisoner wishes to say a word. Freedom! We're just gonna go meet Mel. Mel Gibson? Gibson. Yeah, and um, probably just have a chat about the film and stuff. I think we're going to try and find a brave hot campsite tonight, if we can find anywhere. Chris? Yeah? 
red sky. Ooh, red sky at night. Hopefully, Wild be campers delight. <laughs> Just setting the tent up. We are next to Ben Nevis. We're just setting up the tent. This is where we think they filmed Braveheart. It's epic, it's amazing. This is an exciting, exciting place to camp. And do you know what, we feel a lot warmer. We don't know if it's these new hats we got from Cotswolds. I feel a lot warmer. Yes, Braveheart edition right at the base of Ben Nevis, largest mountain in Great Britain. We think they filmed it just here, we think. Um, but I haven't actually seen Braveheart for a few years, but Luke watched it like two weeks ago, is that right Luke? Yeah, well obviously before coming to Scotland you have to do your research. Yeah, so I didn't do my research, I didn't watch the film. Today we got messaged on our Instagram account at Beard Brothers UK from somebody who watches our videos on YouTube and they sent us a screenshot of their dash cam from their car of us two on this tour on our bikes and they were like we knew it was you we spotted you and we couldn't believe it they were driving past us and they spotted us from the video right good night good night YouTube good night good night beard brother subscribers place to wake up looking across where they filmed Braveheart morning Chris morning it was actually so warm last night we didn't even need to wear gloves so have you seen any early morning walkers yet Luke no not yet just a couple but still seems a bit quiet for Ben Nevis Can you hear something, Chris? <laughs> Subscribe! Idiots. this way cycling along the canal headed towards Fort Augustus and then eventually Loch Ness and there goes a the duck good landing hello, hello. hello. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, lovely. Hi. Look at this, Chris. We've got the whole of Scotland to ourselves. Just to warn you that this, this part of the route leading up to Fort Augustus on Route 78 is extremely bumpy, bumpy and off-road. Oh, yep. <laughs> oh, whoa. We haven't seen any midges. If you want to avoid midges in Scotland, come when it's cold. I've just realized that we're coming to the final leg of the tour and I've been riding with barefoot pedals on the whole time. These uh, Moto barefoot pedal pedals. Not had any problems with them, three tours. Freedom. Feet can breathe. It's amazing. Woo.
here in Invergarry. Okay, we've just cycled along the railway path which came from Invergarry and now we're just going to circle round and head to Fort Augustus and then we think we think from the map there may be either a big we think there's a big climb out out of Fort Augustus which will give us our first glimpse of Loch Ness which is the finishing point Ooh. Ooh. so we may be able to camp up in the hills and have a look view of a Loch Ness and then cycle down tomorrow morning just heading into Fort Augustus now all these lovely boats along the river find somewhere to grab some water because we're all out of water we're dying of thirst Killed me that has. Oh. Oh. Why well, don't Luke you smashed it? Had a very tough climb. And that guy said that climb was gonna be big. I misheard him, I thought he was said coming into Fort Augustus and it was all flat and I thought we'd got away with it. I think that's the biggest climb of the tour. Yeah, very big climb. Probably, probably, probably our last climb though, Luke. Hopefully, because I don't know if these will move again. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, it's time to set up tent, I think. Let's go and find somewhere to camp. I'm quite happy right here to set up camp. This is the new Beer Brothers style wild camping. Right next to the main road. Yeah. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Tent talk over. <laughs> now it's over. So we, we moved on a little bit from the big hill and we've... We kept cycling, didn't we, thinking we could get further and further. Yeah, but we just thought, do you know what, it's getting dark. I said, Luke, it's the last night tonight before we hit Loch Ness. Let's burn the wood. Yeah. So, so we're making some food and we're getting some heat from the fire. Heat up the pies. pies. The pies, yeah, that's it. So we've got the pies heating in the homemade pie oven. Chris is kindly making the sandwiches and he got the fire going. <laughs> And we're just gonna munch on some food because mm. we're so hungry. <laughs> yeah, we've, we've basically eaten cake all day. Yeah, and this is our first real meal. So <laughs> but after that massive hill, absolutely knackered, and so we carried on, carried on until we the light was just fading completely, and we were like, we just need to camp up. So we've camped up next to a lake. So hopefully you'll see that in the morning. Morning, Luke. Morning. I'd treat myself to a coffee today. Last morning of the tour. And then we're going to push on towards Loch Ness, aren't we? Yep. Loch Ness, here we come. Yeah, the famous Loch Ness. Why is it famous? No idea. Something had reared its ugly head. Thanks a lot, jmarino.com. They watched our Wales video where I gave Chris a t-shirt for his birthday. Yep. And they very kindly sent us both two t-shirts for free. Well, we, we were waiting for a sunny day to put these on and it just so happens the first proper sunny morning is the last day. Exactly. 
So, so here we are. Yeah, we thought we'll try them on. Ooh. Nice. V neck. Nice. Yeah, great fit. Loving the V neck as well to get a bit of sunshine to here. Yep. That's what's yep. cycling. So I'm going to wear this today. Yeah, thanks, Joe. First day of spring. Beautiful sunshine. New threads. Let's go. Let's go. Leaving our last campsite of the tour. There's people with cameras, so we must be near the top. Woo! Go. Woo I love Scotland. now and we're heading towards Loch Ness and I'm excited I can feel that monster on the hill hello is that Loch Ness? Loch Ness I found it whoa Loch Ness keep your eyes peeled for that Loch Ness monster it's in there somewhere. If I was going to hide as a monster, I'd choose a slightly warmer lake. It's pretty cold, we've had to put the jumpers back on. I'm really excited because a few miles up here is the end of our Scotland tour but part of me is a little bit sad because it means the tour's almost over. Scotland's done. End of the tour, indoors. Uh, I want it to be outdoors. Thanks, Scotland. <laughs> Scotland bike tour, Edinburgh Castle to Loch Ness. Complete. <laughs>